Projectors are designed to create bright focused images on a single frontoparallel plane. As a result, they have large apertures and narrow depth of fields compared to cameras. In this video, we see the projected image going out of focus as we move the board from the screen toward the projector. In this work, we present novel methods that exploit projector defocus to robustly recover scene geometry, as well as enhance the quality of displayed images. Here we see the projector and camera used in our system. To avoid missing parts in scene recovery, we have made the projector and camera coaxial using a half mirror. Our method starts by capturing images while projecting shifted versions of a single periodic pattern, such as the stripe pattern shown here. A total of 24 shifts are used in our implementation. The projection defocus is then estimated for each of the scene points, independent of its texture, ambient illumination, and neighboring pixels, using only its intensity variation over time. Our first scene with books and wooden blocks has very sharp depth discontinuities. The temporal defocus estimation enables depth estimation independently at each pixel, preserving the sharp discontinuities between neighboring pixels. Such a depth map cannot be obtained using existing triangulation-based methods, such as stereo and structured light. Here we show novel views of the computed scene. The scene is now texture mapped. Using the computed scene geometry, we can synthesize images of the scene with different focus settings. Notice how different scene regions go in and out of focus based on their depth. In this scene, the toys have curved surfaces that are also specular in reflectance. Even so, our method is able to produce a clean depth map. Notice how the two faces are brought into focus in the refocusing sequence. In this scene with leaves behind a fence, the occlusions are very complex. A complete depth map of such a scene, like this one computed by our method, is not easily obtained by stereo or structured light methods, even when a large number of cameras are used. The 3D model reveals the complexity of the scene. The synthesized refocusing video captures the way the scene would appear through a telephoto lens while its focus is varied. Here we see playing cards located at four different depths in the scene. It is very hard to automatically or even manually segment the cards in this scene. The computed depth map gives us a clean depth-based segmentation of the scene. Using the depth map, we can now insert a moving hand from another video clip with all the desired occlusion effects. Projectors are designed to create focused images on a single fronto-parallel plane. We have developed a defocus compensation algorithm that enables a projector to create well-focused images on surfaces at different depths. This method, in effect, widens the depth of field of a projector without modifying its optics. Here we see an image with three people displayed on three planes at different depths. Adjacent planes are 15 inches apart. We concentrate on the face region to illustrate and compare image projections with and without our defocus compensation. Here we see the original images around the face region. Here are the images produced under normal projector setting, that is, without compensation. Notice that even though the middle plane is in focus, the face still looks a little blurred due to projector artifacts. The faces on the left and right planes are more blurred due to defocus. We see that the images obtained after defocus compensation are well focused despite the narrow depth of field of the projector. Now we toggle between the results with and without compensation to highlight the differences. Our defocus compensation method works on arbitrarily shaped screens. We now show results for projecting on this hemispherical concave dome. Here is the focused projection of a flower texture on the dome. To illustrate our compensation results, we will use patches from the top and the center of the dome, which have extreme depths. The first row shows the original flower texture. Since the projector was focused on the frontal plane, the central patch is more blurry than the top one, as shown in the second row. 
The third row shows the images obtained after defocus compensation. Now we toggle between the results with and without compensation. Once again, our compensation method makes the patches at different depths well focused. We have also developed a method for reducing the pixelation effects produced by all digital projectors. As we zoom into this projected image, we see the individual pixels as well as the gaps between them. This strong screen door effect can be greatly reduced by first slightly defocusing the projector and then applying our defocus compensation algorithm to restore sharpness. Here we see three more examples of our depixelation method. The second row shows the normal focused projection with pixelation artifact. The third shows the corresponding depixelated results. Once again, we toggle between the normal and depixelated projections. Notice how the screen door effect is dramatically reduced while the image quality is preserved. In this work, we have developed novel methods based on projector defocus to robustly recover scene geometry as well as enhance the quality of displayed images.